Hi, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, consider subscribing. There is content on this channel for everyone. I do, uh, I take a look at soaps, I take a look at colognes, I've taken a look at deodorants, and guess what? <laughs> That's exactly what we're taking a look at today, all right? Uh, but, you know, if you enjoyed this video, you know, it, it, at the end, if you're like, wow, this was decently informative uh, and somewhat entertaining, slap a like on this thing. Give it one of these, you understand? Not just. Anyway, uh, the wife and my son are out of the house and it is quiet and that is prime opportunity to record a video. That's what I'm doing, okay? So let's get on with the video. Uh, like I mentioned, we are taking a look at a deodorant. Now, um, of course, if you look back at several of my soap videos, uh, a lot of times I tend to try to stick with some of the more uh, healthier options, some of the more chemical-free things, uh, but that's not always the case, I, you know, and I'm not, like, completely trying to switch to, like, all vegan shit or, or you know, chemical-free stuff or, you know, like, I, I, I mean, I do what I can, but a good deal is a good deal, and if it smells good, damn it, it smells good, I'll buy it. Uh, but one of the problems with, you know, some of these products is sometimes a product can be better than others, such as, take soap, for example, okay? Dr. Squatch is a great soap. It's decent, right? I mean, it smells good. Uh, it cleans your body. And uh, it's a healthier alternative to other soaps out there, right? But their deodorant is not that great in my opinion I'm, I'm very particular about how my deodorants feel so a lot of these newer like aluminum free and cruelty free and all these other deodorants they don't feel that great for example for example, let me find here it is. Um, if you remember, I did a video on this Everyman Jack deodorant, okay? This right here smells fantastic. However, however, the problem that I have with it is that it's very, very like mushy and, and, and that kind of crap. And I'm not a big fan of mushy. I, I don't, I, I'm not. I, I, I'm not interested in taking a bowl of mashed potatoes and cramming it into my armpits. And that's what I feel like I get with some of these healthier alternatives, such as Everyman Jack, such as Dr. Squatch. So until I can find a, a better option, and I'm sure it's out there, which, hell, if you know, let me know in the comments below. What, what, what deodorant do you use? What healthier deodorant do you use? Please, let me know. I've been wanting to try Native, but uh, I don't even think it's for men. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I need to do a little bit more research. But uh, I have not I have not been able to find a good deodorant that is more natural and uh, organic. All those good buzzwords. But for now, I've been using like Old Spice, and we're gonna take a look, a little closer look at this Old Spice MVP. MVP standing for Most Valuable Player. Now, if you take a closer look at the label here, uh, it actually is like gaming related, I guess. Uh, it, it looks like controllers. Uh, it's got the little, uh, you know, the joysticks down here. I don't even know if you can see it all that well. But there's the directional pad and the and the buttons and all that good stuff. Uh, and it's just odd, I guess, you know, they try to throw a theme with their deodorants and their different scents. This one just happens to be video games and, and whatever else. But the scent is supposed to be evergreen. 
And it literally just says Scent of Evergreen. This is part of the Red Collection. Uh, this is an antiperspirant and deodorant. I, I have to have an antiperspirant because, I like I said, I just don't like that wetness feel underneath my armpits. It, it will drive me insane. I get irrationally angry. I don't feel good if my armpits feel like a bunch of jizz in it. It just... I mean, it, it, I don't like it. Sue me. But, uh, this is new to me, and it's probably not new to y'all, I mean, but but I'm, I'm going to go over this head to toe, and, you know, uh, we're going to just talk about it. Uh, the first things first is Old Spice isn't actually cheap. It's, 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 you know, a little bit more on the pricier side, but uh, even though it's not organic, it's not... Uh, this I, I don't even know what this thing ranks on the Yuka app, but I got a pretty solid suspicion that it's probably a zero. Uh, but it is what it is. It says longer lasting protection versus AP monograph requirement. I don't even know what the hell that means, but great, cool. Uh, of course, uh, Old Spice is a Procter and Gamble product, and uh, it that's a that's a very large company, right? So they don't put a whole lot of a lot of thought and love into their products. They make them smell good. Uh, they they make them uh, cheaply as possible, and uh, they sell them at a you know marked up price. Obviously, money over respect, but. Uh, that's why, you know, bigger companies like that, they, they take materials and, and they take shortcuts with those materials and they just pack them full of fillers and, you know, one, you know, one thing leads to another, then it's not that healthy for you. And, uh, I mean, look at, look at all this. Look at, I mean, just look at all the words down here. I mean, damn, come on now. Uh, looking on the back, here is the active ingredient in this deodorant and uh here's the inactive ingredients if you want to pause the video and take a look and decide if this is a product that is up to your standards because it is mine apparently <sighs> longer lasting protection fights sweat fast now and it does i i never have a bit of problem i can wear this deodorant and while i'm busting my ass at work and, you know, it just doesn't, uh, you know, there's, there's certain brands out there. Once again, I'm bringing Everyman Jack back into the picture here. When I used to wear this, I wore this two or three times. And every time, the, the first time I wore it at work, it just, when I sweated a little bit, it was so extremely uncomfortable. I was miserable. I felt like shit. I, I mean, it, it felt like my armpits were just pissing. They were taking a piss in my shirt. And I, I'm just not about that life, okay? I got I got to have the the antiperspirant. It cannot be feeling like that, okay? Um, but I've never had an issue with Old Spice or some of these more unnatural brands. I know some people claim that their pores get clogged up and they get big cysts in their armpits. Well. As a matter of fact, the opposite has happened to me. Some of the more uh, organic deodorants have have left a uh, like a like a like a blister or a cyst or whatever in my armpit, it, or a rash. I guess not fun. I don't like that. Anyway, moving on. Uh, I'm basically rambling now. I just want you to know where my stance is on deodorants because I gotta have something that works, right? Which is why in the previous video, we talked about the Neutrogena uh, scalp therapy. I gotta have something that works and I don't even think that shit's working. But I gave it a shot. I gave it a shot. Still using it, I'm still holding out. I'm hoping that it'll work. But uh, that's not why I made this video. Let's get to it though. Let's Let's talk about the actual smell of it, okay? I'm gonna pop the top on it. Now the evergreen scent is, uh, it's very earthy and it's actually pretty cool 
for an Old Spice scent. It still has that classic, uh, you know, tangy Old Spice smell with that really fresh evergreen scent on the forefront there. It just, you know, it's right there. As soon as you smell it, it's extremely recognizable, but it's also very fresh and refreshing. It smells great, and, and uh, this is a deodorant that I actually get a lot of compliments on. Uh, you know, like as soon as I, I, mean, I don't even put that much on, but it, it, it just, it's, it's enough to where when people pass by me, you know, they do kind of pick that up. They pick the, you know, it's like a little bit of a hint. They smell it and they're just like, oh, wow, pretty good. You smell great. And, uh, <laughs> believe it or not. Okay. And here it is, fellas. Here it is, fellas. I'm, I'm going to be, I'm going to be, I'm going to keep it real with you. I get I get a lot of compliments on the way I smell by other women, not other women, but by women, like my coworkers and that stuff. Some of them are good looking. So if you're single and uh, you're trying to mingle, then, uh, I don't know, try smelling good. <laughs> but it, it smells great. Uh, this has probably been one of my favorites and I stand by it. Try it out for yourself, okay? Uh, but that's pretty much all there is to this video. Um, sorry that it was a little haywire. I just got a lot to say. I, I'm just I'm, I'm 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 anxious to find a deodorant that that works good, but is also organic and natural and not so uh, harsh on the body. That's the end goal to all of this. I want to cut down on the on the amount of unnecessary bullshit. You know, even food-wise, I've been trying to cut all the bull crap. You know, organic uh, and and healthy and healthy and organic. Those four things. So you know, is it that hard? Yeah, kinda. <laughs> ah. Anyway, uh, happy Saturday. I'm glad that you can spend. Uh, how many minutes is this? A lot uh, with me. And if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. And like I said, if you know of a deodorant that is uh, decent on the on the body, but still smells good and doesn't feel like shit, then please, by all means, let me know in the comments below. I will go out right now and purchase it. Bet. But uh, yeah, if you made it this far in this video... Uh, comment, comment, uh, the word dodo, like the bird. Comment dodo down below. And that way I know you at least watched a pretty good portion of this video. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you guys. I hope your day's going good. Uh, hope the family's doing all right. I hope that paycheck you got was fat. And, uh, I hope the bills are paid. Um... I hope that dump you took was fine. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video.